You made it all so good With a promise Did what you said you would Welcome back! I'm Allison and I'll be teaching this week's lesson. Before we get started, let's see what's in the Wonder Box this week. Can you guess what's in the box? It's a baby doll! What does a baby doll have to do with our Bible story this week? This week we will be talking about the birth of Abraham and Sarah's son Isaac. This story comes from Genesis 21, 1 through 7, and is the story of Isaac's birth and the fulfillment of God's promise to Abraham and Sarah. The story, narrated by Sarah, finally makes both Abraham and Sarah parents. 
They are very old. Sarah is 90 and Abraham is 100. These are hardly the ages one would expect to be parents. Sarah, still in disbelief, finds this miracle to be humorous. In this story, Sarah laughs as she did when she first learned she would be a mother. However, this time, her laughter is because of joy rather than doubt. Her joy seems to come from gratitude in knowing God kept the promise made to her family and to all her descendants. In response, Sarah names her son Isaac, which means laughter. We may all have different emotional responses to surprise. God can do things we do not expect, and God can create a life that we might not have imagined. When we examine our own lives, there is likely more unexpected than expected. Yet, in the midst of uncertainty, there is joy. And when we look closely, there is an immense amount of joy all around us. Go ahead and grab your wonder mat and wonder figures and cut out the image of Abraham and Sarah holding the baby while I read the verse for this week. says, a year after the visitors came, Sarah and Abraham did have a baby. They named their baby Isaac. Isaac means laughter. Sarah was full of joy and said, God has given me joyful laughter. Who would have thought that I would have a baby when I was 90 years old? Wow. I wonder how joyful Abraham and Sarah were when they held baby Isaac for the first time. Let's get out our wonder cube and answer some questions about today's reading. Here's mine. Let's see. I wonder, what did the Bible story teach you? The Bible story this week taught me that God always fulfills his promises. And when God fulfills his promises, it brings joy to everyone around. Now it's your turn. 
When you're finished with the Wonder Cube, you will then watch the Celebrate Wonder video with Samuel. We'll join back after the video. Hello friends, it's Samuel. Do you remember how old Abraham and Sarah were? They were a hundred years old. Whoa. They have been on a long journey of faith, believing in God's promises. They waited a long time to have a child, and they finally had a baby boy. His name was Isaac. They had been hoping to have a baby a lot sooner, but God makes promises happen according to God's time. What's so amazing about this story is that Abraham and Sarah waited and God's promise came true. They had faith to keep going, even when it seemed impossible. When Isaac was born, Sarah laughed. Maybe she laughed because she was happy. Maybe she laughed because this news was unbelievable. But Sarah's laughter was full of joy. Sarah had faith and she finally got to see and experience God's promise right in front of her. Have you ever had faith or hope for something you really wanted? Was it hard? One year for my birthday, I really wanted to go to the park with my best friend, but it stormed all day and we couldn't go. I had waited all week for that day. And when it came, I was so disappointed we couldn't go. I was really sad. But the next day was sunny. I got to go to the park, and when I got there, all of my friends were there to surprise me, and we got to eat pizza. It wasn't the original plan, but it ended up being even better. Even though it was different and not what I planned, it still brought me joy. God answered Abraham and Sarah's prayer but it looked way different than they imagined. Their journey of faith was long, but worth it because they had Isaac. Sometimes we won't get exactly what we want, but we can have faith that God is with us. We can still have hope even when it's hard. As we journey with faith, we can believe in God's promises and be patient to see what will come. Now, it's your turn to wonder. Today is our final day with our faith word, faith. Faith is to believe in God's presence and hope. Let's gather around your wonder table so we can wonder about the questions for today's passage. I wonder, why did Sarah laugh? How did Sarah have faith? Have you ever lost faith? Why? How did you respond when, some, when something unexpected happens? Let's do a little activity. In the story, Sarah named Isaac because it means laughter. Using materials you have at home, I want you to cut out a small piece of paper. On the piece of paper, you're going to write your name and the meaning of your name. If you don't know the meaning, ask your parents or guardians to help you search it online or look it up in the book of names if you have one at home. When you're finished, it should look something like this. My name is Allison and it means noble. I like my name and I like the meaning because I can sometimes be noble like when I tell the truth. While you work on this activity, enjoy jamming out to our unit song, Reason to Believe. Have fun and make sure to ask your parents or guardians why they gave you your name.
about people and I hope you love learning new things about yourself. Let's end today with a prayer. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for always fulfilling your promises and giving us joy. Amen. Bye everyone. Thank you for joining me for Sunday School. We'll see you next week.